I'm Hazus, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the 10 most expensive skins to trade up for in CSGO, sponsored by Skinport, the easy to use skins marketplace where you can sell your skins for real cash, more about them later. Now, basically, the only rule with this list is that it has to be a skin that someone in their right mind would actually try and trade up for. There's all sorts of stupid things you could do if you really wanted to, but we're going to assume that whoever is doing these trade-ups isn't completely insane. Also, I was going to do a couple of honourable mentions, but instead I figured I'd just roll them into the list. So our top 10 list is going to start at number 13. So at number 13, we have the Stat Track Factory New Containment Breach. This is a fairly new skin, it's from the Operation Shadow web case, and while that case may have crashed in price, the Containment Breach definitely hasn't. Now, the best way to get it is with a mix of factory new and minimal wear decimators and colonies. You'll almost certainly have to spend about $500 per trade up and half the time, you end up getting this thing instead. So you'll probably have to do two of them and that means all up, you'll be paying $1,000. $1,000 for this garbage looking orb. Anyway, at number 12, we have the stat track Factory New Wasteland Rebel. Now, you might not have heard of this skin, it's from the Vanguard case, which you might not have heard of either because it's one of the worst cases Valve has ever released. And speaking of things that suck, this thing's wear ranges suck. So you're gonna have to use all Factory New skins in the trade-up contract, which is gonna cost you at least $600 per trade-up. And even then, there's only a 50% chance of it working. Half the time you'll get this horrible looking skin for a gun no one uses instead, which to add insult to injury is also a $500 loss. So all up, this trade up should cost you $1,200 to get the skin you want. And I can definitely see why nobody does these anymore. Moving on. At number 11 is the Stat Track Factory New AK Red Laminate. This is a massive pain of a skin to trade up for. It was basically McSkillet's White Whale. He tried for years and years and could never manage to get it. And the reason is, the best way to get them is from this super high risk trade up with nine filler skins from a different collection that literally fails 96.5% of the time. Uh, here are your odds visualized. You're aiming for the red. Now, luckily, they're only $65 a pop, but because you have to do them 29 times, that's still $1,900 altogether. I gotta pay my respects to the mad lad here who managed to pull it off. Anyway, at number 10, we have the Glock Fade. I happen to own one of these things, so I'm just gonna flex a little bit here. Now, the cheapest way to trade up for this skin is with this super high risk trade up, and you only get the skin you're after one out of every 11 attempts, and because it's $239 per attempt, it's not exactly cheap. All 11 trade-ups will cost you $2,630, so yeah, not cheap. And because we're running out of the skins you need to do them, it's only gonna get more expensive from here. So if you do wanna try this, you're best off doing it now. Anyway, at number nine, we have the Factory New Prince. So this skin is from the family of three new operation collections added for Shattered Web. And you know how in some families there's this kid that the parents just don't love as much and kind of gets neglected? Well, that's what this skin is. It's the covert skin they added that nobody liked. Although, thanks to China, it's still worth several thousand dollars. But it is quite easy to trade up for. All you're gonna need, 10 minimal wear kinkwitters or whatever they're called into a contract, 100% guaranteed to get what you want, but it still costs $2,800 to do. So I hope you've got some gambling sponsors. Now, for number eight, we're going to be descending back into high-risk trade-up hell with the Stat Track Factory New Emerald Dragon. Now, unlike the Red Laminate, McSkillet actually managed to craft a ton of these, but their odds are still trash. So the best way of getting them is with this high-risk trade-up contract, only one Bravo case input, and this trade-up literally fails 96.6% .6 of the time, and because it costs $100 per attempt, that means you'll need about $3,000 just to get a single Stat Track Factory New Emerald Dragon. And you'll probably end up doing so much clenching in the process that you may need a new sphincter afterwards too. So it's risky in more ways than one. Anyway, moving on. At number seven, we have the Factory New Wild Lotus, another skin from those Shadow Web collections, although vastly more popular this time. And to trade up for this thing, you'll need $4,000 of Midnight Lilies. Now. There is no chance of this trade-up failing, but 
it's still pretty pricey. Maybe you're just better off collecting real life orchids instead. Now, at number six, we have the factory new org Weeboo. Now, the org may be nerfed, but there is no stopping the power of anime. Well, aside maybe from this. You see, trading up for this thing is kind of awkward. The, the cheapest way to do it is with these scrappy, high-risk trade-ups that only have a 10% chance of working. Now, this allows you to keep the cost down to about $5,000. A 100% chance trade-up would be at least $6,000. But of course, these 10% trade-ups would be bloody terrifying to do because each time you fail one, you're losing almost $500. Again, I hope you've got some gambling sponsors. Now, at number five is the Stat Track Factory New Fire Serpent. Obviously a bit of an icon of the game, an ugly, overpriced, overrated icon that doesn't deserve a fraction of its price. But speaking of its price, trading up for one of these things at the very cheapest will cost you three thousand dollars possibly even a bit more because you might have to overpay and 50 percent of the time you try it this is going to happen uh worth 150 dollars by the way so to get a fire serpent on average you'll need to do two of them so six thousand dollars all up and again this skin only seems to be getting more expensive anyway moving on from that at number four there is the orb gungnir now Trading up for this skin is less risky. In fact, it's pretty much a 100% deal, but these 10 Mjolnirs will set you back $6,500. Now, most YouTubers do a high risk version when they're trying to get this instead because it's much more entertaining, but not only does that cost more overall, it also leads to stuff like this happening. In fairness, that is pretty entertaining though. Now, the Medusa has taken out the number three spot. It's basically the same trade up as the Gungnir, except using the Poseidon, which is even more expensive than the Mjolnir. So you're gonna be paying $10,000 for this trade up instead. Although, again, YouTubers prefer doing this high risk version because it's much, much more entertaining. Seriously though, don't, don't try that at home. It's a terrible idea. Now, at number two, we have the Dragon Lore, and again, this trade-up is basically the same as the last two trade-ups, but with slightly more expensive inputs again. This one will cost you about $10,500 to do. Now, even though this is the cheapest way to do this trade-up, you're still losing $5,000 if you try it. So you might be left wondering, who on earth would do this thing? And the answer to that question is YouTubers. O although again, they like making it a little bit riskier for themselves. But yeah, it doesn't always work well, but that brings us to our number one skin, and it is gonna make all these other skins look like lightweights, and I'll explain using a little bit of an analogy. You see, when I was researching this video, I decided to do a bit of a thought experiment. Basically, what is the most expensive trade-up you could possibly do? It doesn't matter how stupid it is, what's the most expensive trade-up you could do? And I figured that the most expensive thing you could do would be a trade-up with 10 scar pattern AK case hardens. Now, if we use Anomaly's price, bank transfer $32,000. That's $320,000 for the entire trade-up. And of course, because the only skin you can get is the Orb Lightning Strike, well, congratulations. You've just lost $3,200. Guess what though? That's still less money than you would lose if you actually tried to trade up for a scar pattern in the first place. So what does a budget scar pattern cost to craft? Well, the cheapest way to trade up for one is to trade up with one skin from the CSGO weapon case and nine P2000 Amber Fades as filler. This is a super high risk trade up, but it's still the cheapest way of trying to get this skin. Now, in fairness, you will have to do 11,000 of them on average to get a scar pattern, and that is gonna cost $5,300, which, Legit, it is still the cheapest way of going about it. And even after you've gotten the scar pattern, sold it to an Arab prince for 40 grand, sold all the other case hardens and fails and everything else, you're still gonna be $350,000 out of pocket. Not stonks. But let's say you wanted, I don't know, the Stat Track Factory New scar pattern, the skin that famously doesn't exist. Well, the most efficient way of trading up for that thing would be to use 10 Stat Track Factory New Glock Dragon Tattoos, which is $700 a trade-up contract. So, you know, 2,000 of these trade-up contracts is only $1.4 million. I mean, look, I've calculated before that it would cost something like 
$469 million to unbox one of these or something stupid like that. So, you know, by comparison, $1.4 million really isn't too bad. Except there's only 9,700 stat track Glock Dragon tattoos out there, and you'd need 20,000. So if you gave this one a try, not only would you probably lose about half a million dollars, but you'd also probably run out of skins before you actually managed to get the scar pattern that you're after. Definitely not for the faint of hearted. Uh, what do you think, by the way, Chairman G? Anyway. That's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, massively appreciated. And a big thank you to Skinport for sponsoring this channel. Skinport, formerly known as Skin Bay, it's the same site. All that's changed is the name, is a skins marketplace and cash out site. It's safe, convenient, easy to use. It's got a super competitive sales fee of 5% if you put skinport.com in your username, a really, really low fee if you're looking to sell your skins. If you're looking to buy instead, it's got a ton of great deals with over 100,000 CSGO skins listed as well as easy to use deposit and withdrawal options. Awesome site, check it out, link is in the description. Anyway, that's it from me. As always, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus, thanks for watching, see ya.